morning. I am Eleanor, the daughter of Mick, my mother here. Um, we went uh, to Rajasthan to make a tourist tour. My mom knows well India and she likes really it. And um, unfortunately, last Wednesday, she had a very, very big pain in her brain. And after she was very bad. So we came in Jaipur and we decided uh, to do something because she was really bad. So we called a French doctor and he said, you can go in the hospital. Mainapol, Mainapol, I don't know how to say Mainapol. He's a very, very good hospital, go there. Then we came, she had a lot of uh, exams and they tell us she uh, must be, um, have a surgery. So I was a little bit upset, so I called again the doctor of friends. He said to me, go, it's a very good hospital. So she had a surgery um, uh, Tuesday, and uh, since uh, we are here in the hospital since uh, Wednesday night, and uh, really, she's a bit tired because he has, uh, she has a, a surgery at the head, but uh, everything is all right. Um, all the people really help us um, for everything. It was the administration, doctors, nurse, everybody. And we feel really good and comfortable. Now she's all right, she's, um, she's weak and she's uh, tired, but she's all right. And um, we were, I say often, we are lucky to be uh, in this hospital in that moment because it's not of country, not no language, as you can hear, that um, we were in, uh, in confident here. And it was very important for us. And she's fine. She's tired, but she's fine. Uh, Mrs. Mick presented to us uh, four days back with intense headache and attack suffering. Uh, she was investigated at our place and uh, she was found to have large bleed inside the brain which is termed as intraventricular hemorrhage. Uh, we find out the cause, there was an cavernoma uh, which bled. Uh, so there was uh, a very, very much intense pressure inside the brain. So it was an immediate danger to the life. So we immediately underwent uh, the procedure for her that was uh, right efficient. In that, we put a tube inside the brain and uh, we connected it to the abdomen so that the excessive uh, fluid and blood from the brain is getting drained into the abdomen so that pressure inside the brain is reduced which was an immediate life-saving need for her. So that treatment was done successfully and after the treatment, patient became much comfortable, become conscious and uh, she is feeling much better now. Definitely she will require, require indefinite treatment for cavernoma uh, in future. But right now she is completely stable. She is uh, at present out of danger and much comfortable. I hope a speedy recovery to her. Uh, that's all. And uh, I just want to ask, uh, she is uh, uh, Elion. She is uh, the daughter of Mick and uh, she will, she know English because there is a lang language barrier. Mick doesn't know English so well. So, Elion will tell us about her experience. So, Elion, just tell us how your mother is right now and how you felt here. Well, we felt very, very well. Uh, of course, it's difficult because we are in another country, we don't speak very well the language. Yeah, there is language barrier, yes, I can understand. Yes, yes, it was difficult for my mom. But um, you did everything to make us comfortable. You gave us a lot of communication, a lot. Uh, the people were really kind, very, very, very kind. And um, it's a, a difficult experience, of course, but a good experience, really. Ultimately, everything went fine. So the end is good. Yes, everything is good. Definitely, I know your trip was spoiled. You came here to enjoy and all that. But and this unfortunately this event happened, but ultimately everything is good. Yes. So right now you are yes. much comfortable. Yes, we are really comfortable and confident as well. 
Um, of course, we, we call uh, French doctors to know because uh, it's another country very far from I can home. understand that. And uh, they, they were, um, uh, they told uh, um, go, there's no problem, this is very good hospital. So it was important for me to know. And you and your mother are satisfied with our treatment with facilities at our hospital? Yes, yes. She told me, of course, she can't tell, uh, she can't talk to you. Yeah, I know, she, she don't know English so much. Yes. She's a French speaker. I but know. she's fine, she's okay. But she, still her body language tells us that she's quite happy yes, right yes, now. Yes, now she's really good. She's tired, of course, but everything is okay. Yes. Wish from our side her speedy recovery. Take care. Thank you. And I hope she will be perfectly fine. She is and she will be perfectly fine. So. Okay. You are comfortable now? Yes. So you are going to home? Excited? Ah, and everything well now? Tu vas rentrer en France? Yes. Everything well now? Est-ce que tout va bien maintenant? It's okay. Yes. It's okay now? Yes. Just be calm, comfortable. There is no problem at all. No problem. You can safely go to your home. She hopes, yes. She hopes. Definitely you will safely reach your home. So don't worry at all. Everything is just fine.